Hi, Bob Wilkins here again, this time to introduce a project of building an HO scale end of train flashing red light device, often referred to as FRED. This stands for flashing red end device. These devices have replaced cabooses at the end of trains for most railroads in the US. While commercial units are available, they are often expensive, so I wanted to come up with a simple, inexpensive system that requires a single circuit and utilizes the red flashing LEDs that are now available. Since these single LEDs use very little current, I preferred to use an onboard battery system to power the LED rather than use track pickup. To turn the unit on and off required the use of a switch. The result is the onboard 3 volt lithium battery system with flashing red LED described here. The components needed include a 3 volt lithium battery. These CR2032 and CR2025 are readily available and reasonably priced. You can pick them up for two for a dollar at the dollar store. The battery I found will power a three millimeter flashing red LED continuously for over five days. In addition to the flashing LED, we, need, we will need a resistor, a battery holder, a slide switch, some connecting wires and shrink tubing and an external housing for the end of train LED. For this I used a small yellow painted wood block with hole cut to accommodate the LED. You may wish to make your own more prototypical device for this purpose using either balsa wood or plastic. Lastly, we will need, of course, a piece of rolling stock, such as a caboose or boxcar wagon. The electrical circuit is fairly straightforward, as shown here, with the battery, 100 ohm resistor, flashing red LED, and switch set up as shown. The first step will be to disassemble the car cabin from the chassis. Most rolling stock have tabs or hooks that need to be pried open to free the chassis from the cabin. The next step is to determine where the holes are to be drilled in the rear wall to install the lighting system. Here on the caboose on the left only the flashing LED will be installed. Hence, it is placed in the upper wall. On the boxcar, the end of train unit will be installed, so it is positioned adjacent to the coupler. Small pilot holes are drilled first at these sites. For the caboose, I used a drill bit, 7 64ths of an inch, just slightly smaller than the LED. I then reamed the hole slightly bigger with a round file until the LED fitted snugly in the hole. This avoids the need for gluing, though this of course can be an option. For the boxcar, the LED needs to pass through the wall to be inserted into the end of train device. Here I used a 532nd inch bit to accomplish this. To install the switch and battery holder, we first need to remove the metal weight plate usually found on the floor of the car and glued in place. Gentle prying of the plate with a flat bladed screwdriver or knife uh, will usually do the trick. The old glue is removed and any plastic protrusions along with rust and debris are cleaned and the floor is sanded flat. 
a rectangular hole approximately 3 8 of an inch long and 3 16 of an inch wide is made in the undercarriage. Here I used a so hot solder iron with a flat tip to melt the plastic. This should be done in a well ventilated area as the burning plastic fumes are given off. After cleaning the area of burnt plastic, filing to the required size can neaten the whole appearance. The switch is inserted and checked that it slides on and off freely in the slot. Once satisfied, the switch is glued in place with CA cyanoacrylate glue, otherwise known as crazy glue. The metal weight plate is cut with a hacksaw and reattached to the floor around the switch. Glue or adhesive putty such as blue tack putty is used for this purpose. The battery holder is set on the weight plate with adhesive putty. First the pins are flattened and the negative terminal is set near the switch. The putty acts as an insulator to avoid touching the metal plate. Next, the lighting circuit is set up. The 100 ohm resistor is wrapped around the longer anode lead of the LED close to the LED base and soldered to this lead. The excess wire is trimmed off. The red wire is separated from the black for about one and a half inches. The end is stripped Tinned and approximately one inch of heat sink tubing is threaded over the red wire. This wire is now soldered to the resistor. Excess wire is trimmed again and the heat tube is threaded over the resistor and solder joints. A heat gun or hairdryer is used to shrink the tube into place. The black wire is now soldered to the cathode lead of the LED and trimmed again of excess wire. On the other end of the red black wire, it is separated, stripped and tinned. And at this stage, the circuit can be tested. Using the three volt lithium disc battery, place the red lead onto the face marked with the positive and the black lead on the other side of the battery. The LED should blink on and off. A small piece of wire is cut from the black wire, stripped, tinned and soldered between the negative pin of the battery holder and the closest end pin of the switch. The red lead is soldered to the positive pin of the battery holder and the black lead to the middle pin of the slide switch. Once complete, insert the battery into the holder and test the switch. The battery can be removed by squeezing the connection on the positive side of the battery holder. The wagon is now ready to be reassembled. If only using the flashing LED, it is inserted into the hole in the rear wall of the cabin and the cabin is reattached to the chassis. If the end of train device is to be used, the LED is passed through the hole and inserted into the wider hole of the end of train device so that it is completely seated in this housing. After testing, the LED can be glued in place with CA glue. The cabin is now reattached to the chassis and the end of train device positioned against the rear wall. Gluing of this unit to the chassis is optional. If you need to review these instructions, download the PDF file in Project 7 at the website modeltrainsounds.com. If you wish to order the kit containing the items described, you can do so at this website. Thanks for watching, and as always, enjoy your model railroading hobby.